Hi, it is Marie. I am back again today with another video. And today I wanted to talk about cerebral palsy and identity. Um, but before I do, I want to apologize for this lighting once again. So I am sorry. Um, but, uh, so cerebral palsy and identity. Um, I asked myself, you know, how much do I want cerebral palsy to be a part of me? Um, and I think it's a valid question to ask and a question everyone um, with any kind of disability uh, should ask themselves. And for me, the answer is I don't want cerebral palsy to define me. Um, before um, people look at my cerebral palsy, I want them to look at my interests. I want them to look at my personality. I want them to look at my knowledge. Um, so I don't want people to say, oh, Marie, yeah, she has cerebral palsy. Uh, I want people to say, oh, yeah, Marie, she's interested in this. She's like this. Um, she knows about this. Um, and then cerebral palsy uh, can come after. Um, but at the same time, I know I have cerebral palsy, so it has to be a part of me. Um, and especially as like, I've gotten older and I've seen the limitations, um, the kind of uh, hurdles it puts up in front of me, uh, I know I have it. Um, I think when I was younger, it was hidden by my own ignorance. Uh, as a kid, I could just do uh, everyday things, go along with my friends, and not have to think about cerebral palsy and not even know that I had cerebral palsy. I just thought of myself as being normal. Um, and, and, and so I didn't really do anything for my identity. So going, going forward, you know, that's kind of what I have to go off of. Um, I will say that cerebral palsy has contributed positive things to my life, to myself. I think of myself as more patient having cerebral palsy. I think of myself um, as being able to be a better friend and to be a friend to all people and to be more open-minded of people in general. Um, but at the same time, I don't think that that has to be exclusive um, to me having cerebral palsy, I think and I would hope that a, a lot of people can be patient, a lot of people can be a good friend, um, and that doesn't have to om be only because I have cerebral palsy. I could have reached that conclusion and had those um, positive attributes um, without having cerebral palsy. Um, so, then I come to the question of, you know, when do I tell people I have cerebral palsy? How do I tell people I have cerebral palsy? And the thing is, I just, I don't tell people I have cerebral palsy. Um, if they ask, I'll tell them. Um, but again, that all comes back to, I don't want that to be the first thing on people's minds when they think of me. I know I have it. I know people probably see me as different, um, but I would, I would hope um, that cerebral palsy isn't the only thing that defines me. Uh, and so I think I'm going to leave it there for the day. Um, if you have any uh, comments or thoughts you want to share on this, uh, go, go ahead and share because uh, I, I would hope people have their own perspective on on their own identity with cerebral palsy or any type of disability. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, so, goodbye.